I hope you're okay. Uh, just the availability of the squad at the moment. Any fresh injuries ahead of the game this weekend? No, we have some doubt about uh, Jimmy that he had the kick during the week and Ricky for the amount of the games after the injury and Keenan that he has been unwell for a few days this week. So we have some doubt and the rest, uh, case is back. Uh, that's all. To have injury doubts over three players as big as Keenan Dewsbury Hall, Ricardo and, and Jamie Vardy, how how significant is that to you in your in your planning ahead of the game this weekend? No, yeah, very significant. Uh, as I said, uh, uh, for Jamie and Keenan, it's more physical problem. For Keenan, has been just uh, uh, unwell. How do you say? Just yeah, unwell. It's not physical problem. Uh, but we see. Yeah, we see. We have still 24 hours for tomorrow. We see if we can have some of them back for the game. On Ricardo, uh, as a as a player that's had big injuries in the past and has uh, struggled with injuries again this season, um, how careful do you have to be? Where, where are his limits right now? If you if you had to play him in, in games in the in the final four, can he can he play a full ninety at the moment? No, yeah, I don't think Ricky struggled this year. I think uh, he played uh, more minutes than the last three years. So this year. He has been fantastic uh, in the way he played with us and physicality also. Now normal with uh, all this amount of a game, uh, it's normal that uh, you can have some problem, but uh, he has always played. So we see, as we said, we see for, for tomorrow. I, I want to ask you about experienced players in your squad at the moment. I know uh, Ricky and, and Jamie are, are two of those, but it, it, at this stage in the season where you are, how important are they to help you get over the line. No, but not so. No, not only in this stage. They have been important all the season. I always said about Jamie, Ricky, or Connor, or uh, Mark Albrighton. I always said that they have been very important all season. For sure. Now we are in the final games, and uh, the, the the pressure is a little bit more higher. So we can think about uh, experienced player that they can solve the problem. But uh, it's not just now. They they help us all the season. You talked about Conor Cody there. Uh, he is someone that has won promotion from the championship before with Wolves. I think it was six years ago this week that, that he did that. To have that kind of experience in and around the squad, is that is that useful for other players who haven't ne necessarily been in this position before to have a player like Conor who has won the championship? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure, because uh, he lives already some moment. And in terms of experience, when you live a moment and you live again, Probably you manage better than the rest that they never leave that. So yeah, for sure he can he can manage the situation, and he can help his teammates. Connor's probably not had the number of minutes this season that maybe you were expecting or him and, and, and us as well. But what does he have to do to play a significant part in the final four games on the pitch rather than just being a a, a player who can help off the pitch as well? Uh... You are suggesting that he has to play? I'm just asking if he, because he will want to play. Yeah, but we have. What does he have to do to, to ensure that happens also? To the same thing that line? the same thing that he's doing every day, training in the way he's training. Then I'm the manager. I decide the lineup. That sometimes is good, sometimes no. But uh, if Connor play, Wow is out, or Yannick is out, or Callum is out, or JJ is out, and sometimes we decide. But Connor, he behave. I always said in all my press conference that since day one, he has been fantastic, more than fantastic. But uh, at the end, you have to take decision, and and sometimes they are not happy, sometimes they are happy. But uh, I think it's normal. But we are completely happy with uh, with Connor. Next up is West Bromwich Albion on, on Saturday, and so what, what do you make of that test? Yeah. Anyway, the the, the manager. Uh, you, we know uh, that it's uh, very intense. Uh, they are very intense off the ball uh, in the way they press, in the way they play. Uh, they play all season with the line of four. They just play with the line of five against the Wolves and QPR in the second half. So we can expect them in both situations, line of four or line of five. We see. But uh, for sure, the structure doesn't uh, modify the way they, they, they work on off the ball, that they are very, very intense. They're a side who still want to confirm their playoff space, and we've, we've spoken before about 
about teams when they're battling at either end of the table, how much more difficult that makes it. The, the fact that they are so close to securing a, a place in the playoffs, how, how significant is that ahead of this weekend? No, oh, yeah, it's, uh, we said already uh, that every game now, it's, uh, I think it's not random that in the last two games we lost. Uh, Leeds in the last two games they did one point and Ipswich in the last two games they did two points. We always forgot the same, that they are human beings and they see that they are close and they miss something. And at this game tomorrow will be exactly like Southampton, Preston and Blackburn, the last one. In the same way we play against Millwall or Plymouth, everyone now is playing for something. So we'll be, we'll be for sure 100% tough, but fortunately we play at home and we have also the boost from our fans that I always said the same, that we, we, when they help us, like in the last game against Norwich, especially in the last hour and against Birmingham, you can see that you almost play with, uh, with one extra player. Um, and just finally, Enzo, I mean, you play before everyone else this week. I know you talked about that last week when you were playing Tuesday, Friday, whether that was an advantage, but because of the amount of time between the last game and this game, do you feel there is more of an advantage this week to play before Everyone else. If we win, yes. If we don't win, no. Thank you very much. Best of the time. Thank you.